Lilith is... no longer a siren. You're saying Tyrene stole Lil's powers? Well, let's hunt down that god queen bitch and get him right back! Are you crazy? I say we stay here and build a fort. To Claptrap's point, can we really take on the Calypsos in our current state? Tyrene's after the power of the vault, and there's no one else who can stop her. We have to get there first. I may not be a siren, but I'm still a Crimson Raider. We all are. I'm with you, Lil. Through thick and thin. You know which one's which, Strangbang. That's what I've been saying! Certain death it is, and I obviously won't pass up a chance to study a new vault. All right, let's get to it. We ride! Onward to Promethea! Hey, Lil. Bad luck to take a ship out of orbit without a name. She's already got a name. Sanctuary. Vault Hunter, over here. Tannis isn't wrong. Tyrene is more dangerous than ever. She's got an army, the map, and my siren powers. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Claptrap, what intel do we have on Promethea? Ah, uh, Promethea! A shining metropolis and the home of the Atlas Corporation! It's the most technologically advanced planet in this arm of the galaxy. Atlas, huh? We'll have to convince them to help us find the vault before the Calypsos do. Killer, plug in that astronav chip so we can set a course for Promethea. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Brace yourselves. This baby's sporting an implosion drive. That means you gotta be real careful with it. A single miscalculation could end this adventure real quick. Boring! I got this! Onward to Promethea! Claptrap, wait! Claptrap, what did you do? So I'm floating now. How novel. What in the hell? We got a hull breach! Pressure's falling! Uh, uh. because the only thing standing between this ship and space is my ass. My ass saved all your asses. One sec, y'all. I'll reboot the grav generator. <clears throat> my kind of flying. Glad that's over. Damn it. The drive's busted. Nav and propulsion, too. Until we get our systems online, we're dead in the sky. Ellie, how long's that gonna take? Keep your skinny pants on, Lil. I'm working on it. Do what you can. Fast. Vault Hunter, go check on the rest of the crew. See if anyone needs help. Claptrap, keep your ass in that hole. You can count on me! Tannis, where are you? Don't worry about me, I'm all right. Just staying warm. The thermal control system malfunctioned during the hull breach. You'll need to reboot it. Such curious internal organs. A double lacerating jump. Just a moment. Almost there. Oh. <sighs> Surprisingly comfortable, you know. Like a fleshy sleeping bag. Although I do feel a bit viscous. Thank you for bringing my lab back to a survivable temperature. You should go see if anyone else requires assistance. I will contact you if any other devices require... punching.
my citizen science machine. I created it to prove myself the smartest organism in the six galaxies, in hopes that that title would diminish the existential terror and self-hatred that plagues my every waking moment. It did not. Feel free to plug it back in and take a shot at the champ, as it were. Hey folks, this is Mayim Bialik, actor, PhD scientist, researcher, and your favorite person. Today, I'm here to talk to you about video games and science, and how we can grab both by their necks and make them kiss, consensually. Long story short, by playing Borderlands 3, you can contribute to real-world scientific research, as in data that helps real people in meat space. Speaking of meat, did you know that more than half the cells in our bodies are alien? Only 43% of our cells are of human origin. The rest belong to foreign microbes. These microbes have a massive impact on our body's health. The more we study microbes, the more we can learn about the accumulation of meat and existential terror that is the human body. These microbes are made up of DNA, just like us. Each microbe has its own special DNA signature, and similar species of microbes have similar DNA. If we could sequence all the different species of microbes found in the human body, which, remember, make up more than half of the cells in our body, we'd learn a ton about ourselves. To that end, the Microseta Initiative collected tens of thousands of samples of, to use the scientific term, doo-doo, extracted the DNA of the microbes inside, and sequenced it. Now we just need to organize this data. Unfortunately, though computers excel at certain tasks, like crunching numbers or tracking down specific pornography, they're not so good at organizing DNA information. See, different species of microbes have similar, but not quite identical DNA. That means mapping their sequences can be kind of ambiguous. The computer makes lots of small mistakes that can corrupt downstream analysis. Which brings us back to video games. So we've got several million sequences that are each 150 nucleotides long that are riddled with small errors from the computer analysis. How can we get rid of all these errors? With your help. We've taken the millions of DNA sequences and broken them down into bite-sized puzzles that you can play and solve inside Borderlands 3. And try not to think about the fact that the DNA came from human excrement when I use phrases like bite-sized. By playing Borderlands Science inside Borderlands 3, you'll be directly helping our scientists organize and compare this dung data. The game is simple. You'll be confronted with different strands of DNA, each made up of individual tiles. It's your job to place as many of these tiles as possible in their appropriate row while matching the colors. It's not always possible to line everything up perfectly, but that's okay. By playing the game and matching the sequences, you'll also be identifying the errors in our computer analysis and helping scientists across the planet build a better algorithm for the future. And since all this research is open access, the entire scientific community will benefit from it. This research could directly lead to a universal catalog of all known microbes, which could lead to new breakthroughs in food, medicine, exercise, the sky's the limit. And it all starts with you playing a video game. But if the pursuit of knowledge isn't enough of an encouragement to sort through virtual butt microbes, then fear not. Playing Borderlands Science earns you in-game currency you can spend on booster items for your characters. Oh, and this is all totally free. Just activate the Borderlands Science machine on Sanctuary 3 and sort some gut microbes. Are you ready to match colored dots to other colored dots? Let me show you how this works. So these colored tiles represent the building blocks of DNA, or to simplify, the tiny meat cubes that big meat people are made out of. So if it helps, just imagine those blocks as small, multicolored hunks of steak. It does not. Your goal is to align them with the guidelines on the left. You could push the tiles upward by inserting tokens. Now shove those beautiful meat babies! Great job! That's what we call a meat train!
quantitatively prove my intellectual superiority, I installed a scoring system into this machine. Et voila! If you want to prove you're brainier than Dr. Tannis, make sure you fill that score bar up as much as you possibly can before submitting your score! So, up to now, you've been able to fart around with as many tokens as you want, but now, <laughs> the real challenge begins. See these tokens? These are your reserve tokens. You need to think really hard about where to put them. the bare minimum score required to submit your solution. You could keep working to fill more of the bar and increase your score, though. Not that I'd recommend it. Like I always say, the bare minimum is the best you can hope for, and you will never know joy. Wait! Two lines? What is happening?! Just know that you can get points for tiles of either of the two colors! As you can see, it's literally impossible to get every single tile to line up. Just do the best you can. Congratulations! By beating my score, you've invalidated the only achievement of my otherwise accolade-free life. Please feel free to celebrate while I jettison myself into the nearest sun. ever wish to get good and return to this cabinet in an effort to beat my top score, please feel free. Yeah. 
The sanctuary has many dark corners, yes. of destruction. Vault Hunter, quick do something! Thanks! But my firing range is still on fire! I appreciate the help, Vault Hunter, but don't expect a fire sale. However, you can take an SDU from your old pal Marcus. The more you can carry, the more you can buy from me. People say I'm a greedy, penny-pinching miser, but you know what? I love that! Need to hold more stuff? I've got three words for you. Storage deck upgrade. One step closer to your true potential. Vault hunters need to carry a lot of stuff. Carry more with an SDU. Ah, a fine start, but will it be enough? Ah, probably not. You've got two choices, buy an SDU or don't, but you definitely should. Excellent choice, Fred. All I'm saying is if you don't buy an SDU, you're probably going to die. Enjoy! No refunds. 
seriously. You're gonna need more space, so buy it already. Pleasure doing business with you, Vault Hunter. Nice going, Vault Hunter. I found a problem. Blown entropy accelerator. I got a spare one in the cargo bay. Come help me out, will you? Accelerator ain't no thing. Got loads of spare parts in the cargo bay and some special gear I was saving for you. Oh hell, we gotta cut our losses and vent the cargo bay. Entropy Accelerator. Entropy Accelerator. I'm busy. Now scram! Just hand over the Entropy Accelerator, Earl. I don't see your name on the door, whatever your name is. Hand over that part or I'm gonna twist you into a pretzel and fondue your ass. Fair enough. I'd give it to you if you had something worth my while, but you don't! So get lost, freeloader! Earl, it's been a day, amigo. Don't test me. You ain't got squat. No style! Earl, you... Vault Hunter, he's locked in there tight. Maybe if you had some more iridium, he'd be willing to trade. Go talk to my mama at the bar. She keeps all kinds of currency around just in case. The name's Moxie. What's yours, sugar? I am Flack, and your pheromones are... overwhelming. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Quit thirsting up our new vault hunter, Ma! We're in the crap! We need some iridium to fix the ship! Have you tried my slots? Maybe you'll get lucky. You will do no such thing! You hear me? My 
feel better about myself if I had more followers. See you around, I guess. <laughs> Well, would you look at that? You've got the magic touch. Come back anytime, sugar. I've got a few other games we could play. All right, VH, go give that turd blossom Earl what he wants. Get out of my head! you to get lost what nothing strike your fancy well I'm tired of looking at you scram you can have the damn who's a what's it come back never well that was a bitch and a half now go install that new entropy accelerator we gotta get a move on
say what you will about those guys, but their production value is through the roof! Ignore them. We've got work to do. Vault Hunter, let's get out of here. For real this time. Take us to Promethea. Here we go. Here we go. What's happening? I can't see. I can't see! Malawan fleet. I thought this was an Atlas planet. Something ain't right, Lil. Looks like we aren't the only ones with their eye on Promethea. It's Vault Hunter, over here. Listen, about what happened on Pandora. We can't let anything slow us down. You're gonna have to pick up the slack for me. Can I count on you? Yes, Commander. We are a pack now. Good. Now let's make contact with Atlas. If anyone knows where the vault is, it's them. I'm not picking up any signals from Atlas. Malawan must be jamming their comms. Wait, here's something. like an Atlas distress call. They need help down there. Getting Atlas on our side would be a good start to finding the vault here. If we can back them up, maybe they'll help us. Or at least not kill us while we search. That distress call was coming from the city outskirts. We need to get you down to the surface, but we don't have access to the Promethean fast travel network. Way ahead of you, Lil. Vault Hunter, come down to the cargo bay and let's chat. 